So today in this video, or not today, but in this video we're going to talk about bones. Um, so bones are what make up the skeleton in a skeletal system. Bones give us support. They connect muscles to, uh, they connect two muscles which allow them to move. They provide pH and calcium balance. They uh, provide the, they even provide the environment for the production of blood. So it's not where blood is specifically formed, like the bone is not, but it's specifically done in the bone marrow, so which is inside the bone. So features of the bone, there's different shapes. Um, I'll draw a few. So there's like flat, such as the parietal bone. So this right here is flat. So one little fun fact actually for you. The skull is not one bone. It is made up of many different bones, a series of bones. So the skull and the cranium are made up of all these different bones and sutures and everything for to provide the protection. So this bone right here, the parietal bone and the frontal bone, um, they're both flat. <clears throat> so, and then there's long. There's long limbs such as the humerus or the feet or uh, the femur, and then there's like the short bones, which are like, you know, the carp the metacarpals and metatarsals and um, the knuckles even, and so, and the wrist and your ankle, and so, and then there's like the weird shaped ones, like, you know, the hip bones or the pelvic uh, girdle and the, the pelvic girdle is also not one bone, it is a series of bones, um, or even like the, uh, the single vertebrae. Um, that's just like, you can't really classify it as long or, I mean, yes, it is short, but it's like, you, know, you can't really, like, you can't really classify it as anything because it has a flat surface as well, and so, like, you know, you just can't, so they're called the regular bones. Um, and then there's also different components of each bone, so there's, like, the compact bone, which is, like, for example's sake. So we'll say that we'll say that this is the femur. We'll say that this is the femur. And so this white outer part right here would or I mean it's purple, but you know you look you know the white outer part of the bone is called like it would be considered compact um, yeah. and then so inside there is like this space inside the bone that is like a cavity um, and that's where mar mar the bone marrow is so that would be considered the marrow the marrow cavity okay that's all wrong but, um, yeah, and then inside also is the spongy bone. So it's generally where, like, a lot of holes are and stuff like that that are filled by the bone marrow. Um, and it's loosely disorganized tissue at the ends of the bone, which is why I drew it over here, and it would typically also be over here um, and such like that. And so it always is enclosed by the shell of the compact bone. So it's enclosed by the compact bone. Um, as we grow, our spongy bone becomes more and more dense, but not completely as completely dense as the compact bone. Um, so yeah, and so um, uh, where bones meet, so like the joint, so this uh, were to connect to the hip bone, which will draw kind of like you know, like that, excuse the drawing, but um, it connects to the hip bone, and <clears throat> <coughs> sorry, and this is like in between right here is will be a layer of cartilage that will deteriorate over time, so that's why like, you know, when we're younger we have more cartilage, and when we're older we have less, so, and then the rubbing together of the bones is like the result of the um, deterioration of the cartilage which will lead to arthritis pain. So yeah and then um, 
<clears throat> so in um, long bones, we have the we have the um, there's different parts of it, and so we have like the epiphys. Epiphys. I don't know if you can see that. So the epiphys, and right here in the middle would be the di diaphysis. Sure. And then um, in flat bones, so I'll go ahead and draw, I don't know, a scapula. No, oh, jeez. Or no, no, no. Scapula is not a flat bone, I'm sorry. But, okay, I'll draw the top of the parietal bone. So this is like looking, as if you were on top of me looking down. Um, um, on the flat bone, um, it's almost like a sand, uh, for this, it's like, like a sandwich where the compact bone is the bread and the spongy part is in the middle. So in the skull, in the frontal bone or in the parietal bone, um, <clears throat> the spongy layer is called the diplo. So this is like as if we had split it and we're looking at it from the left. So right here it would be the diplo. And then the ends would be the compact bone. So um, what the diplo actually does is that it allows um, for, it like absorbs compact. So it absorbs compact that protects, that helps protect um, the brain. So we're going to say that this is the brain. So it protects the brain from like, you know, if you were to experience trauma to the head, it, it um, you may fracture it, but this diplo provides that extra layer of support um, in case you are your head is fractured. Okay, so yeah, let's erase that. Alright, so bone cells. Um, there are there is um, four main things. So the bone cells have. Um, the first one would be the osteogenic, so oste I'm just going to put osteo up here and then the continue. genetic, not osteogenic, genetic, but it's osteogenic. And so, and then there's the osteoblast which actually helps build the bone, build bone, build bone. And then there's the osteoclasts, which are, um, <clears throat> which help deconstruct. So it's like deconstruct the bone. And then the osteocytes which are basically just leftover um, osteoblasts. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. The, which is basically like the osteoblasts um, that are trapped inside the matrix. Now the matrix is like the cement in the bone. So it's made up of calcium phosphate. And so, yeah, um, compact bones... Um, there is a, in compact, what makes up a compact bone are different, uh, different things such as, um, the osteon. So, the osteon, I'll go ahead and draw it real quick, are like, you know, they're like these little circles, and then in the middle, there's called the central canal, where there's nerves and blood vessels. <laughs> And so this is called the osteon, and I just try to remember it because it's like onion. It looks like an onion, like a layered onion, when you cut it um, in half. And so, yeah. Um, and it has, yeah, like, so this, the in the middle it has 
um, nerves and blood vessels in the middle. And then these little holes are called the lacunae. Lacunae. Um, now, bones also show a variety of, um, bones also show a variety of shapes, and they come in ridges and bumps and canals and uh, slits and stuff like that. So these are called the bone markings, like the different things that just kind of give it its shape. Um, and stuff like that. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and list off 10 with five parts of each. There are many different parts to each bone, but um, I'm just going to go give, I'm going to, and we have over 200 bones, so I'm going to give 10 bones with five markings. So there's the mandible right here. And now right here, um, <clears throat> right here is where we have our mandibular angle. And then right here is the mental body, and then which is like the chin. It makes up the chin. And then in the chin, we have like these little holes that are called mental foramen. Um, and then on the inside of the mandible, so on the inside of our jaw, we have the thing that's called mandible foramen. And then at the top here is called the head. Um, so and then the and the ethmoidal bone which is like on, located on the inside right there. I'll go ahead and actually draw that one because it's like an interesting shape. And so, um, so we have, I don't know, sorry, the ethmoidal bone, and I'll actually give this top to right here. So, <laughs> uh, this little tip right here, this is as if we're looking at it on the top. So this is, so, um, we're looking at it from the top. Um, and so this right here is called the Crista Galley. Okay. And then the perpendicular plate is right here, is in the middle. Um, <clears throat> um, I just kind of try to remember it because it's perpen. Um, nope. Uh, sorry, it's parallel to, our, to the Crystal Galley. <laughs> like I know it's like parallel perpendicular, but I don't know why. It just connects in my head. And then right here, on the outside, we have the orbital plates. Um, and then, um, again, like, you know, just on the outside orbit, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then on the inside right here, we have the cribriform plate. And then down here is where we have the nasal conches, which allow, give this, like, you know, the nasal, which is just like where the nasal cavity is. Now, the sethnoid bone um, is, again, inside the body, so, again, or inside the cranium, and I guess we, like, you know, it's, like, kind of, like, I don't know, but anyways, so this is how it would be, I guess, and then there's, like, these little pores, so then there's these things that are called the greater horns, so we have this one and this one, and then these two are called the lesser horns, and the, or wings, I'm sorry, not horns, <laughs> they're like the lesser wings, and so, um, yeah, it goes up, so I guess it would go out a little bit more, um, and then this right here is called the body, and then, yeah, and then so we have the dorsum tale right here, and the cella turca right there, okay. Now the orbital bone, that is our bone right here. Um, that is our bone that holds our eye. Or uh, not orbital, I'm so sorry. The oc the occipit occipitial bone? Octopitual octopit bone? Octopitial 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 you know what? Ocular <laughs> bone. So um right in the middle, right uh, inside is our mental, um, not mental, magnum foramen. And then we have the cerebral, cerebellar fossa. And then there's also the um, internal occipital crest. And then there's also the basilar um, bone, uh, the basilar part 
of the bone. Um, and then there's the maxilla. Um, the maxilla has anterior, the anterior nasal spine. It has the sinuses um, and then the palatine process, which is kind of like a bony appearance. Um, and then the incisive canal and then the maxillary teeth. So, um, yeah, the maxillary teeth. Um, yeah. So the mandible is the bottom of the jaw and the maxilla is like the top of the jaw. And then the scapula. So the scapula is like what constu constitutes as our uh, shoulder blade, if you will. And so there's this thing. Um, I'm just going to put in the, Okay. <laughs> so up here is where the acrimon is. And then they have the acrimonial angle. Acromo, acromial, acromial angle. And then, in, so, and then out of here, there's like a little part. It's not a hole, but it's a little part, and it's called the, that kind of like sticks out and folds over. That's the carosoid pot process. And then this is the lateral border, and this is the medial border. Now, in <clears throat> um, the vertebrae, there's the body. So I'll go ahead and try to... Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's fine. So, <laughs> um, no, you can't really see it, but anyway, so, um, so we have the body, which is right here, and then we have the inferior. Um, inferior articular process and the superior articular process and then there's the transverse foramen and then the vertebral foramen so this is the vertebral foramen and then the transverse process are right there or the transverse foramen is like like through there um, and then there's also the hip bone the hip bone The hip bone, this is the bottom here, and so that would be the obturator foramen. Um, this is up here, is like the greater sciatic notch. This up here is the ilium, and then this is the iliac crest right here. And this is the iliac fossa. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And then the humerus. Mm -hmm. um, this is the head, right there, and then this is right here, uh, well, I guess like you would just pretend they're right there. This is the greater turbicle, and this would be, like, somewhere right here would be the lesser turbicle. Um, and then down here is the olecron fossa, and the radial fossa is actually on the other side. And so lastly, we'll talk about the temporal bone. Okay, so the temporal bone, um, there's the squamous part, um, and the external acoustic meatus, meatus, and the internal acoustic meatus, and there's also like the styloid process and the mastoid process. So, yeah. so okay, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If I can <laughs> end it.